This bloodshed will not cease until we have Islamic unity and all Muslims enthusiastically and passionately desire the system of the Mahdi. The Islamic world, which has had a spiritual leader in all periods after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is leaderless in Hijri 1400. The Islamic world is fragmented and scattered when people holding all kinds of ideas and beliefs have formed their own unity. And the Islamic world is suffering all over the planet. Syria. Reports of the martyrdom of hundreds of Muslims come in on an almost daily basis. The repressive Ba'athist regime tortures people, including even children. People have their hands tied behind them and are martyred. Women and the elderly are ruthlessly slaughtered. Iraq. One point two million people have lost their lives since two thousand three. Four and a half million people have had to abandon their homes. The fighting goes on and on. Reports of bomb attacks have become a part of daily life. Afghanistan. In the first four months alone of the American occupation, 20,000 civilians lost their lives, and the number has risen every year thereafter. Civilians are still dying in bomb attacks. And millions of Afghans are trying to survive under very harsh starvation conditions in the refugee camps. East Turkestan. To date, 35 million of our Uyghur Turk brothers have been martyred. 10,000 Muslims disappeared in a single night in 2009, and 100,000 of our Uyghur sisters were forcibly removed from their homes and taken away. Pathani. More than 400 people have disappeared under the martial law in force in the region for the last three years. Some 2,300 people have been martyred and 4,000 people have been detained on illegal grounds. Some 30,000 people are still being detained in concentration camps today. Palestine. 500 places of habitation have been wiped off the map in the last 50 years in Palestine, where millions of people are still living in an open-air prison camp surrounded by high walls. Moro. Our Muslim brothers of the Philippine island of Moro have been oppressed by dictators and communist regimes for the last 60 years. To date, 150,000 of our Muslim brothers have been martyred on Moro. Myanmar. Fifteen thousand settlement units were destroyed in Myanmar between 1942 and 1996, and two million people were forced to emigrate. Three hundred thousand people were martyred. Twenty thousand women were raped. Five thousand mosques and madrasas were burned. In 1991 to 1992, three hundred thousand Arakan Muslims were forced to leave their own homeland out of fear of being slaughtered. Hundreds of Arakan Muslims were slaughtered in a single month as of May 2012. 
All this oppression, of which we have described just a very small part, shows the Islamic world something very important indeed. Allah wants Muslims to be united. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Hold fast to the rope of Allah altogether and do not separate. Nobody could oppress the one and a half billion Islamic world like this if it were united, and nobody would even think of committing such wickedness. If the one and a half billion Islamic world were united, then not a hair on the head of any Muslim anywhere in the world could be harmed. But if Muslims are fragmented and leaderless, then the door will be wide open to the wickedness of the cruel. Until Muslims give one another the glad tidings of the Mahdi, alayhi salam, as commanded by our Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and understand the extraordinary nature of the time we are living in, and desire the system of the Mahdi, until they obey this explicit commandment of Allah's and become united, then this suffering will never end. The way for this suffering to come to an end is not by shouting slogans on the streets or talking for hours in the language of despair. The way to put an end to this suffering is by striving for Islamic unity. It must not be forgotten that every Muslim who does not strive for Islamic unity is responsible for every drop of blood spilled.